this is Paul Gibbs. This week's news was going to be dominated by the impact of the spending review on higher education. Well, it did, did have some impact. It reduced the projected research funding by £2 billion, but had very little to say on the critical questions on student loans, on entry requirements to universities, and to how uh, the overall numbers of students to universities would be allocated. This is a great pity, particularly as the Chancellor took a lot of time in discussing the importance of skills, certainly at skills up to level three. Although this is important, it did seem to me that he should have been more clear that in an economy that is highly skilled, level three qualifications are only a trajectory qualifications into more significant um, uh, learning and uh, practice. The other thing that's attracting, attracting attention this week is clearly going to be COP26. And universities might crow about the contribution that they've made to the science of climate change. However, we should also look in our back, own backyard to the, our own carbon footprint and be aware of the uh, level of carbon that our international students attract when they fly into the UK and our academics attract when they fly outside of uh, the United Kingdom. All of this is slightly uh, depressing and it's not surprising that in a recent report by the Education uh, Support Group that over 50% of those that they surveyed showed probable signs of depression. One of the reasons for that is clearly that they're overworking to an extent that academics, um, a third, a third, a 20 percent of academics uh, made claims that they were overworking by up to two days a week over their accredited hours. The other information is it's been really rather crowded out by the, these comments on uh, cape, COPE and on um, the spending review. Although it is interesting to note that the uh, issue of Professor Stott at Sussex University hasn't gone away, even though she may have gone away with her resignation. The consequences of that are terribly important for all of us in the university, not just students, not just academics, but particularly administrators. administrators. And indeed administrators um, were a focus of news in Norway this week when it was announced that the new government will be investigating the salary levels of vice chancellors. The reason for this is that the salaries of vice chancellors tend to be pegged to commercial rates, somewhat similar to the UK. And the government want the vice chancellor's salaries to be pegged to public servants rates. Even given this, their rates are of salaries for vice chancellors are at least a third of the average rates as they are in the UK. Also interesting to see that Imperial College have made a study uh, of how they can address their past as well as their future and have made suggestions that the great academics who were at the university but have not been acclaimed yet and surprisingly most of these are were from a different ethnic background ought to be, and this should be done through the traditional form of naming buildings and rooms, etc. It's important that, um, that Imperial College has started to look at their history and try and, trying to make recommendations of how they can recognize that. It's a, uh, an approach that most universities would do well to follow. One other uh, interesting aspect I thought of this week was that the Taiwanese um, Confucius Institutes have been starting to grow. These have been growing in place of the Chinese uh, Confucius Institutes, which have been claimed to be political bodies. The Taiwanese claim they're not. Uh, I don't actually then understand why they're doing it. Anyway, it's a real pleasure talking to you this week. Hopefully we can have something more substantial to discuss next week. Uh, have a good week. Take care. Bye-bye.